Good morning, all. On behalf of the Department of Civil Engineering, TKM College of Engineering, Kollam, a very warm welcome to one and all to the inaugural function of Sixth International Conference on Modeling and Simulation in Civil Engineering. I ICMSE 2022, sponsored by TechIP2. Let us begin the function with a silent prayer. Thank you. Please be seated. Started in the year 1958, TKM College of Engineering, founded by the great visionary Janabe Tangal Kunyamusiliar, is the first government aided engineering college in Kerala. The Department of Civil Engineering, which took, which took genesis along with this institution in 1958. Ever since its inception, the department has been a hub of academic excellence, giving great emphasis on research activities and consultancy works, leading to the status of accreditation of the UG six years and PG programs two years by National Board of Accreditation. The International Conference in Modeling and Simulation in Civil Engineering started in the year 2011 with a noble vision of bringing the research community together by providing a platform for debate and discussions on the recent advancements in civil engineering. On behalf of the department, may I now welcome Dr. Sajib Bar, head of the Department of Civil Engineering, to deliver the welcome address. President of the function, Honorable Dr. Shahal Hassan Musliyar, Chairman TKM Trust, Honorable Dignitaries, Eminent Delegates on and off the dais, colleagues and student friends, a warm good morning to one and all. Uh, the Department of Civil Engineering of TKM College of Engineering is one of the oldest and most dynamic department in this institution started in 1958 and the department is now offering UG program in civil engineering and 2G, two PG programs, one in structural engineering and construction management and another one in transportation engineering and we have doctoral programs also. At present we have a student strength of 650. Every year the department produces the finest graduates in the state of Kerala who are highly sought after by the professional community. 
in addition to the academic activities the department is actively involved in consultancy works for various government private and public sector undertakings international conference on modeling and simulation in civil engineering icmsc is a biennial conference organized by the department of civil engineering and started in 2011 as mentioned here and it this is the sixth edition of icmsc now this time along with icmsc we are launching a center namely center for sustainable practices now we hope that the conference as well as the activities of the center will help to have meaningful interactions among researchers faculty members and students let me come to my duty of welcoming the esteemed gathering the president of this function honorable dr shahal hasan musliar chairman tk college trust is our guiding light he is a man of visionary and a true leader on behalf of the department of civil engineering and all who are assembled here i extend a warm welcome to you sir a chief guest of the day dr narayana neidala professor school of sustainable engineering and built environment arizona state university he is here to inaugurate the conference he is a fine researcher focused on developing sustainable concrete on behalf of the management college department of civil engineering and all who assembled here i welcome you sir to this function guest of honor professor b venkatram reddy professor retired department of civil engineering in the institute of science bangalore is here to inaugurate the center for sustainable practices his research areas include structural masonry low carbon building materials recycling solid waste into construction materials etc now we can't imagine a more apt person than professor bvp reddy to inaugurate the center for sustainable practices on behalf of the management on behalf of the institute and the department of civil engineering and all assembled here i welcome you sir to this function honorable engineer tk jalaluddin muslia treasurer of tkm college trust is here to grace this function he is giving all help and strong support for all the programs conducted here and he is so actively taking part in all the infrastructure activities of our institution with great pleasure i welcome you sir to this function our principal dr t s rahul hamid is a constant source of support guidance and motivation for us for conducting all the programs organized by the department i welcome you sir to this function i take this opportunity to welcome all the distinguished members of the campus dr harun and other tk at trust members to this function and the coordinators of this edition of icmsc are dr seema kenayar dr dr kp ramaswamy and dr munawar they have been working tirelessly for the success of this conference i extend a warm welcome to all of them my beloved teachers and the retired faculty members who shaped us and the department have joined online to grace the function i especially welcome all of them to this program the heads of various departments and deans are present here to grace the function in spite of their busy schedule i extend a hearty welcome to each one of them i extend a warm welcome to all the faculty and staff colleagues student friends and research scholars present here I welcome all the distinguished researchers, delegates, as well as and well wishers who have joined online to watch the proceedings. Welcome you all once again. Thank you. Thank you, sir. May I now invite Dr. Seema K. Nair, Coordinator, ICMC, 
to give an outline of the sessions of the conference. President of the function, Honorable Chairman, Janab Shahal Hassan Musilyar, Chief Guest of the Day, Dr. Naranin Naitalit, Professor in Sustainable Engineering and Built Environment, Arizona State University, and Dr. B.V. Venkataram Reddy, Professor from, former Professor of Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, Janab Jalaluddin Musilyar, Treasurer, TKM Trust, Dr. Harun and other members of the Trust, Dr. Shahul Hamid, Principal, TKM College of Engineering, Dr. Sajib Bar, Head of the Department of Civil Engineering, Co-Coordinators of the Conference, Dr. K.P. Ramaswamy and Dr. Munavar Fairuz, the uh, Delegates, Ladies and Gentlemen. It is my proud privilege to stand before you today as one of the coordinators of the 6th International Conference on Modeling and Simulation in Civil Engineering, ICMSC 2022. The Department of Civil Engineering has always approached academics, research, and social commitment with all seriousness and sincerity. To reinforce its activities, the department has been organizing an international conference biennially from 2011 onwards, through which eminent academicians, technocrats, and researchers exchange ideas in the field of civil engineering. The theme of the conference, Modeling and Simulation in Civil Engineering, take care of the latest developments in all domains of civil engineering and associated disciplines. The sixth edition of ICMSC, which is being inaugurated today, is different from the previous ones for many reasons. One, it will be conducted in the hybrid mode, which has become the new normal. In addition to the online technical sessions, the department will be launching some other initiatives to enrich the conference. After the pandemic, we consider ourselves fortunate to be able to resume the conference series even though in a hybrid mode. We are grateful to the guests of honor, Dr. Narayanan Nathalit and Dr. BVB Reddy for taking their time off to come over in person to lend us the spirit of the international conference to the delegates, staff, and students of the host department. The conference is planned for three days, first to third of December in this, and first to third of December. In this inaugural session, presided over by our honorable chairman, Jenab Shahal Hassan Musriyar, the sixth ICMSC will be inaugurated by Dr. Narayanan Nathalit, Professor in Sustainable Engineering and Built Environment at the Arizona State University. Jenab Jalaluddin Musliya, Treasurer TKM Trust, will release the book of abstracts. The department also proposes to start a center for sustainable practices, a center dedicated to research and activities related to sustainability. Dr. K.P. Ramaswamy, the coordinator of the conference, will brief you about the center. Dr. B.B.B. Reddy, former professor of IISC Bangalore, has kindly consented to inaugurate the Center for Sustainable Practices. Our principal, Dr. Shahul Hamid, will offer fel felicitations on this occasion. The inaugural session will be followed by the keynote lecture of Dr. Narayanan Nidhalat on the topic, Journey Towards Carbon Neutrality, Construction's Realistic Path. This will be followed by Dr. Reddy's keynote speech with a sustainable development. The main module of the conference will be the six technical sessions in which technical papers shortlisted after review will be presented online. Each session will be preceded by a keynote lecture pertaining to its theme. Dr. Shubhajit Sathu Khan, Professor in Civil Engineering, Indian Institute of Technology, Roorkee, India, will be delivering a lecture on survey and data for perception-based studies in transportation planning this afternoon. Dr. Lakshmi Sushama, Professor and Trottier Chair in Sustainability in Engineering and Design, Department of Civil Engineering, McGill University, Canada, will deliver the keynote on the topic, Deplo Development and Application of Actionable Climate Change Information for Climate Infrastructure Interaction Studies and Adaptation of Engineering Systems in the forenoon session on the second day of the conference. Recent advances in the mechanical characterization of novel soft composites will be the topic presented by Dr. Vinu Nikrishnan, Professor of Civil Engineering, West Texas, Texas A&M University, USA, in his keynote lecture tomorrow afternoon. The papers submitted by authors who belong to academia as well as industry have been accepted after a rigorous review by a panel of reviewers from premier institutions. About 55 papers have been shortlisted for inclusion in the proceedings, which will be brought out by AIJR, and around 40 are scheduled for presentation. These papers belong to the streams of structural engineering, 
water resources and environmental engineering, transportation engineering, building technology, and construction management. The sessions will be chaired by academicians from prestigious institutions. The technical sessions will begin this afternoon. At 1.30 p.m., there will be two parallel sessions on transportation engineering. On the second day of the conference, the phone-on session will witness parallel sessions, one on water resources and environmental engineering, and the other on building technology and construction management. The afternoon session on day two will have two parallel sessions on structural engineering. As part of the conference and under the auspices of the Center of Sustainable Practices, a one-day workshop on non-destructive testing and quality control in concrete construction is organized for engineers working in the public sector. This event is held is organized for engineers uh, is held in association with Kerala Institute of Local Administration of Kila. A poster exhibition of selected UG, PG, and PhD projects done in the recent years in the department, which come under the realm of sustainability, is also arranged. The conference will conclude with a valedictory session on the third of the month. On behalf of the ICMSC team, I once again welcome all the delegates to the conference and thank our sponsors, TechCube2, Ramco Simmons, Smithline Reinforced Composites, Kerala Minerals and Metals Limited, Institution of Engineers India, Habilit Learning Solutions, and Geo Era. I wish that the conference turns out to be a successful and productive one. Thank you. Jai Hind. Thank you, ma'am. May I now invite our respected chairman, Janab Shahlasan Muslia, President TPM College Trust, for the presidential address. Dear Dr. Narayanan Naitala, Professor, Arizona State University, Dr. B.V. Engadrama Reddy, Retired Professor, Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, Sri Jalaluddin Musliar, Dr. Shahul Amin, Principal, Dr. Sajib, Dr. Seema K. Nair, Dr. K.B. Ramuswami, members of faculty, members of the trust, dear students, participants, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me immense pleasure to be a part of the sixth international conference on modeling and simulations in civil engineering organized by the Department of Civil Engineering. As the institution steps into a new phase of development, with autonomous status, such conferences become meaningful and significant and more than ever before. I have been watching with interest the growth of the development of civil engineering. It took its genesis in 1958 with the inception of the college and has evolved to become one of the most dynamic engineering departments in the state of Kerala. It has taken proactive measures in addressing the concerns of the society while performing exceptionally well in academics and research. It has also been very responsive to the needs of the industry. I see MS, MSC is a flagship event held finally by the department. It has always been a highly sought after platform among industrialists, academicians, and researchers to discuss new developments in civil engineering. 
I am happy to note that the sixth edition of ICMSC is being inaugurated today by none other than the Dr. Narayana Nantilai, an eminent researcher and academician himself. I also understand that the conference conceived in the hybrid mode is rich in, in its content with keynote speeches developed by, delivered by eminent academics and the technical sessions contain paper, paper presentations from industry and academics. I am sure that the conference will provide ample opportunity for students, budding researchers, academia in general, and industry experts to present innovative ideas, have live discussions, and learn more about the latest developments and modern trends in the field of civil engineering. This day marks another historical moment as the Department of Civil Engineering is starting the Center for Sustainable Practices. We consider ourselves lucky to have Dr. Venkatrama Reddy to have headed the Center for Sustainable Technologies in the Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore to, to inaugurate the center. I sincerely hope that it will grow into a center of excellence in the years to come. I, ex I extend my hearty congratulations to the principal, head of the department, coordinators of the conference, faculty and student fraternity for their sincere efforts in organizing this event. It is expected that with, the, with these initiatives, the department will be able to contribute to realizing the institution's vision of excellence in technical education and research. I extend my wholehearted support for the event and we wish and wish the conference all success. My good wishes to all. Thank you, Jai Hind. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Dr. Narayana Nathalit is a professor of structural engineering and materials in the School of Sustainable Engineering and Build Environment at Arizona State University. He obtained his PhD in civil engineering materials from Purdue University in 2004 and was a faculty member at Clarkson University in Potsdam, New York until 2011. His research interests are in the area of material science of novel and sustainable cementitious materials for infrastructure, energy efficient materials and design, micro and nano mechanics of materials and chemistry, material science and mechanics based modeling of materials. He has published more than 150 papers in international journals and more than 200 in referred conference proceedings and publications. He has carried out research for various federal, state and industrial entities amounting to more than $12 million. $12 million. He is a recipient of the prestigious Walter L. Huber Civil Engineering Research Prize of the American Society of Civil Engineers. Professor Nidalit is a section editor of the Journal of Materials in Civil Engineering published by AAC and associate editor of the Elsevier Journal Cement and Concrete Composites. With immense pleasure, let me request Dr. Narayanan Nidalit to deliver the inaugural lectures. Distinguished Chairman, dignitaries on the dais, including the Principal, uh, Dr. Sajeev, Dr. Reddy, and all of you. It's a great pleasure to be standing here. See, I'm used to giving lectures, but not giving speeches. You guys know the difference, right? Giving lectures and giving speeches. So I'll try to make it um, as formal as possible, but I also try to give you a few ideas as to why a conference like this is important. 
is essential and why I'm so happy to see all of you here after all the COVID times where we were all watching screens all the time. You guys had fun during that time, right? Right now we are, we are all in person. So uh, this is a sixth edition of the conference and that's what I was told. And it's very, very rare that such conferences organized by an individual institution goes to six editions. And for that, um, all of you deserve a huge congratulations and a round of applause. I mean, if agencies do it, if, if there is another set of or group of institutions that do it, that's a different story. But one department in one college doing it for six editions over 12 years, um, let's hope that this will continue forever. And therefore, I understand how much work the coordinators and everybody behind this has put in um, to make this a grand success and make sure that everything is on time and done well. So thank you to the coordinators and thank you for inviting me to do this. In the field of civil engineering, if you look at the ways in which civil engineering developed, especially um, after World War II, when there was need for a lot of reconstruction of different things in different parts of the world, and India came to the party slightly late, and that's why we still have a lot of infrastructure and a lot of construction going on. But if you look at that history of construction, <clears throat> Generally, what we were doing was just doing what was required to take care of those needs at that time, right? Food, sanitation, food, housing, shelter, clothing, whatever. So to, to take care of shelters, to take care of habitation facilities, we were doing all that was required for a long period of time. And we did that based on past, based on what we knew, based on what was historically done. And therefore, the architecture and construction in India would be very different from architecture and construction in a different country, right? Because you, you looked at the history and you looked at what was needed and what was being done. With the advent of computers, with the advent of means to start predicting stuff better, we all need to, all of you need to predict something better, right? Would, would all of you look at your cell phone in the morning to find out what is the temperature when you want to come out of college? You guys probably won't, but I do that all the time because the place that I was in before I moved to Arizona, we could get 10 inches of snow without any warning. So I have to look at my phone and figure out what's happening before I go out. Should I clean the driveway? Should I clean the car? Right now where I am, it can get to 45 degrees Celsius without before I know. So I have to look at the phone to see if I need to have uh, sunscreen or if I need to keep, put sunscreen on my kids before I send them out. Right? So we, we start to predict things. We want to know ahead of time. Correct? All of you do, if you're students, you do practice exam before you do your actual exam? You guys do that? What are you doing? You're kind of predicting and practicing for what's happening, right? We want that to understand systems better. So I don't want to build a structure, have it fail, and then come back and say, yes, I've learned a lesson. Next time it will not fail, right? We don't have the luxury to, to do that much now. So you want to predict and to predict things, you want to model things or model physical systems. And that's why a conference like this becomes important. And in all fields of engineering, modeling and simulation has, have become a very, very critical tool with the advent of extremely fast computers that can do rapid simulations. I mean, if you look at um, just for the theme of this conference and for the theme of, of the sender that you're going to inaugurate a little later, um, let me tell you, if you look at carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere, right? They tell you that the earth is going to warm to a certain temperature in so many years, correct? How did they do that? Did they, somebody go into the future and measure it and come back and tell you now, yeah, it's going to be that? You predict based on what we have now. And all what we are doing is use the power of mathematics, use the power of physics to predict what will happen um, at a later date, at a later time. And predictions have been very important. I mean, if you, if you, if you are interested in looking at stories and if you look at historical or, or epic stories, you see everybody was predicting stuff. Who will die when, who, what will happen, what, what war will happen when, correct? So we are now doing it at a better, at a more sophisticated rate and civil engineers have a big role to play. We were, we were um, mostly looking at constructing stuff, taking care of water, wastewater, environmental effects, but the reach of civil engineers are now much, much more especially with, with respect to um, global climate change and what is happening now. Environmental engineering, 
um, the way that we use and misuse materials, the way that we um, recycle or not recycle water, the way that we emit particulate emissions into the atmosphere and create pollution, all of these collectively um, needs to be addressed. And, and a lot of these things cannot be addressed from just the point of view of doing experiments and doing testing. So for students, if you are, um, if you are interested in a career that is very, very forward looking, a topic like modeling and simulation, understanding what kind of models works is very important. And this is so very cross cutting and cross disciplinary. So I had a friend when I was in graduate school, a roommate, he was in chemical engineering. He was looking at um, react, the speed of chemical reactions. And if you remember, all of you know, uh, the uncertainty principle, you cannot predict the position and momentum of a particle at the same time, right? So he was looking at uncertainty in chemical reactions. What two particles are most likely to collide together and form a new system? That was he was doing his in, in chemical modeling scenario. Where is he now? He is now in Wall Street predicting how the financial markets are going to behave. Exactly the same random stochastic processes, right? So the field is so wide. The, uh, the opportunities are so large, but make sure that all of you use the tools and techniques that you have at your disposal. Make sure, of, make sure that you use conferences and venues like this to enhance what you learn. Again, you will know that what you're learning in your four years of BTEC plus two years of, of post-graduation plus whatever years you take for PhD, you're learning only a very small speck of what is out there. Right. In what I tell my students all the time is what college teaches you is how to learn. Other than that, there is nothing that's taught anywhere here. All you're doing is you learn how to learn because there's so much to learn outside. You take all the tools that you want, go outside and explore and expand your horizons. And conferences like this, make sure that you attend them, make sure that you attend to the online talks, listen to what, uh, what people are doing and what people are, are um, experiencing, keep your eyes and ears out. And I wish this conference um, and whatever you are doing from now on, um, all the very best. And I'm very happy and proud to have inaugurated this conference. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. As a continuing tradition, the Department of Civil Engineering is releasing a book of abstracts for ICMSC 2022. It's a concise document of the novel ideas and technological advancements presented during the conference. Let me now invite Janab Tikit Jalaluddin Musliar, Prashra Tikim College Trust to officially release the book of abstracts. I kindly request our chief guest, Dr. Narayana Nidalit, to receive the book of abstracts. Thank you, sir. We are planning to inaugurate the Center for Sustainable Practices in the Department of Civil Engineering. May I request Dr. K.P. Ramaswamy, coordinator, one of the coordinators of ICMSC, to brief about the Center of Sustainable Practices. Respected President of this function, Honorable Chairman Janab T.K. Shahalasan Musalia, TKM College Trust Chairman, the Honorable Dignitaries, eminent delegates on and off the dais. A very good morning to one and all, and a hearty welcome to the inaugural session of the 6th International Conference on Modeling and Simulation in Civil Engineering, ICMSC 2022, and also to the inauguration ceremony of Center for Sustainable Practices, CSP. The things of nature do not really belong to us. We should leave them to our children as we have received them, said Oscar Wilde, who was a poet. 
the privileges that we enjoy as a generation have been handed on to us by our forefathers it's our duty to safeguard and enrich them through our actions so as to hand them down to the younger generations here lies the entire relevance of sustainability in 1987 the un brundtland commission defined sustainability as meeting the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs the sustainable development goals adopted by the un in 2015 is the response to a universal call of action to end poverty protect the planet and ensure that by 2030 all people enjoy peace and prosperity as engineers we are more equipped than many other communities to contribute to in making the planet a better place to live in tkm college of engineering as it assumes the autonomous status believes in contributing in a big way to the betterment of society as it always does all along many of the research and co curricular activities being carried out in this institution have contributed to the realm of sustainability however it was felt that a dedicated center for sustainable practices would bring interdisciplinary research in the domain under one umbrella taking research from lab to land by building prototypes and applying the technology in real life situations are sure to capture the academic interest of students and members of faculty alike this is sure to enhance the research acumen and contribute in a big way to serving the society the department of civil engineering tkm college of engineering took its genesis along with the institution in 1958 and is now one among the oldest and the most sought out dynamic departments in the state of kerala ever since its inception the department has been a hub of academic excellence giving great emphasis on sustainable materials and technologies which is reflected in the vision and mission statements of the department the department of civil engineering tkm college of engineering has been organizing international conference on modeling and simulation in civil engineering icmc biennially with a view to bringing together on a common platform researchers technocrats and academicians to explain their research findings and state of art technology in this domain the first international conference was held in 2011 since then conferences in this theme were held until 2019 in 2021 when the covid pandemic struck the situation demanded that sustainability in construction should be brought into focus consequently the department thought it appropriate to organize an international web conference in civil engineering for a sustainable planet iccsp 2021 which was held on march 2021 this gave us gave us an real impetus further to chase our dreams and to launch a center for sustainable practices now along with this sixth edition of icmc the department of civil engineering is taking a lead role in establishing a center for sustainable practices which is in fact a dream come true moment for all of us the center is intended to develop and disseminate sustainable technology and to encourage interdisciplinary research in this domain the center for sustainable practices in association with kerala institute of local administration kila is also organizing a one day workshop on non destructive testing and quality control in concrete construction as part of this conference on 2nd december this workshop mainly targets working engineers in the government sector it is expected that with these initiatives the department will be able to contribute to realizing the vision of the institution of excellence in education and research the primary objectives of the center are to take up multidisciplinary research in sustainable technology to apply the research outcomes in the development of prototypes and real life structures and to disseminate sustainable technology to different strata of stakeholders through training programs if you take the last 3 to 5 years several projects were undertaken in the department addressing the theme of sustainability some examples include the studies on alternate cement based materials innovations in alkali activated concrete systems role of bio additives in alkali activated binder systems performance enhancement of lime mortar with natural atmospheres using industrial by products structural aspects of earth concrete use of scrap tire pads for seismic base isolation production of lightweight aggregates using alkali activation technology use of wood dash sea shell powder as cement replacement waste glass as replacement for fine aggregates in concrete comparative life cycle assessment of cumbrous stabilized earthen blocks and concrete blocks design of green buildings key performance indicators of sustainability in construction projects defining sustainability dimensions in buildings 
sustainability in rural water supply and infrastructural projects, life cycle assessment, durability studies on guar gum stabilized subgrade soils, use of recycled construction and demolition waste for road embankments, analysis of climate change in India using advanced numerical techniques, etc., to name a few. It can be seen that various aspects of sustainability are addressed across the several disciplines of civil engineering. A poster exhibition covering some of the projects related to the theme of sustainability, which is undertaken by the department in the last three years, underlines our constant effort in contributing towards sustainable development. The department always strives to contribute more in this area through the activities of the proposed center for sustainable practices. Today, we are indeed lucky to have with us Professor B. V. Venkatramaradi as the chief guest, retired professor from Department of Civil Engineering and the former chairman of Center for Sustainable Technologies at IASC Bangalore. Professor B. V. V. Reddy is a renowned academician and researcher in the area of sustainability, and we cannot think of an apt person better than him to inaugurate the Center for Sustainable Practices. With immense pleasure, I welcome Professor B. V. Venkatramaradi for inaugurating the Center for Sustainable Practices and to deliver the inaugural address. Thank you, NJ Hill. Professor Reddy is a civil engineer with a PhD in structural engineering from the Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. He's a former professor in the civil engineering department and former chairman of Sust Center for Sustainable Technologies. Professor Reddy's research interests include structural masonry, mechanics of materials, energy in buildings, green buildings, low carbon construction materials, low carbon binders, geopolymer products, and recycling solid waste into construction materials. The translational research and development, innovations, technology development, and outreach activities touch, touch, touched upon are machines for compacted earth block CEP, optimum soil grading curves for CEB, test methods for durability of CEB, cement soil motors, fly ash bricks, alkali activated bricks, rammed earth structures, alternate roofing systems. The translational R&D is of direct relevance to the industry and practiced by many building professionals resulting in more than 3 million tons of carbon savings. His nurturing efforts in dissemination of sustainable technologies touch the bottom of the pyramid caters and many entrepreneurs. Professor Reddy is responsible for establishing a center of capacity building in sustainable technologies at the IIAC new campus. Professor is a member of many renowned professional bodies. He has several patents to his credit and has about 170 publications in several international journals and conferences of high repute. With great pleasure, let me request Dr. B. V. Pengatrama ready to address the gathering and officially inaugurate the Center for Sustainable Practices. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Chairman, Janab Sahel Hussain, the principal. Narayanan and other dignitaries on the dais and teachers and students. Uh, a little uh, concerned when uh, the, the coordinators, uh, the organizers of this uh, conference asked me to come over here and then uh, united this new center. And initially I thought this uh, the <laughs> The modeling and simulation civil engineering conference I had attended, actually I had attended one of them a uh, few years back. Uh, I said I'm not a person to uh, look into simulation and modeling uh, per se, uh, but though it's a very important topic that uh, no engineer is complete uh, without uh, uh, simulation prediction, uh, as well as uh, the uh, whatever experimental work. So generally when we uh, train a student uh, for a doctoral program in IISC, uh, we try to imbibe uh, both qualities for a student, both uh, he must be a master in doing experiments as well as uh, he must be a master in uh, simulation and prediction of the behavior of the whatever work he has done. Uh, then I said, 
let me just uh, uh, agree and then i thank the dr seema naya to to who are uh, instrumental in uh, sort of uh, getting here uh coming to uh, uh the, the particular aspect of uh, sustainable uh, uh sorry sustainable practices <clears throat> Uh, let me just give some uh, few uh, uh, facts. Dr. Narayanan has already highlighted some of them. Uh, I just place before you uh, two issues: uh, what the mankind is doing now, and how the mankind is surviving. Uh, for anybody to survive on this planet, uh, we need. Uh, uh two resources one is energy other one is material resources if without these two resources nobody can survive we must uh, uh, realize and think that uh, where these two resources come from uh basically we have a planet earth and actually on the planet earth the human beings occupy a very small fraction of the total living system It's 2% less than 2% is human beings <clears throat> so we get energy mostly uh, energy derived directly or directly from sun so there is a good interaction between the planet earth the, the sun and other planetary systems so some resources have been built on this planet so what we are trying to do is to take those resources out and then uh, use energy and then convert it into a product uh, need not be a building product any other product even to table or mic or car or cheap or a plane so we convert and then we use them and to drive these systems we need energy again so if you want to make the system sustainable here we may have to really pay attention to these two issues one is energy another one is uh, the materials another fact uh, i i would like to place before you i think you must know this fact is that uh, i don't know whether any of you have made any assessment or calculation of how much materials we consume uh, apart from food uh, for our survival uh, i was trying to make an estimate uh, it comes to something like anywhere between uh 10 to 11 tons per capita per annum can you imagine this we consume only 250 kilograms of food grains to survive and put all the materials together 10 to 11 tons per capita per annum where this come from we actually take it from that and how we take it we take it in an indiscriminate manner uh, and all kinds of anthropogenic activities now uh, now we know what the consequences are now we are we are they are shouting that our emissions are gone up co2 concentrations are gone up the weather surrounding the globe is affected so we have a, a temperature build up consequences are flooding melting of ice ice caps and in some places flooding unpredictable rainfall all kinds of problems in fact from the past decade or few years we are facing this seriously and it is going to uh, be more and more severe in the years to come uh it just take uh, uh, the computer uh, simulated models predicted there is going to be 20 to 30% increase in the rainfall due to global warming and it is already uh, we see those uh, problems creeping in with this kind of uh, uh, resources exploitation and for all these things only mankind is responsible and probably the other uh, animals which constitute 98% of the 
total living organisms on this planet, we are affecting the other ones, apart from affecting ourselves. Now, how to prevent this uh, kind of catastrophe which we see uh, is not very far away, maybe a um, few decades. Uh, now, uh, we are uh, trying to meet everywhere and develop uh, uh, sustainability development goals and try to reduce emissions, try to reduce carbon, going towards carbon neutrality, things like that we are doing. Now, I'm very happy to, to, to listen that this institution, which is uh, 62 years old, uh, probably inaugurated, I think, by somebody was telling me, by Dr. Rajendra Prasad, uh, continuously doing this uh, modeling simulation conferences. This is the sixth one. And it's very difficult to do, continue the conference series. You know, I face this problem. I started one, I ended up with two. And the third one, I'm now struggling to push somebody to do that conference, some international symposium on earth and structures. And uh, uh, Dr. Ramaswamy gave a very nice uh, 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 description of what is happening in this institution, addressing the issue of sustainability. I'm very happy that he touched upon many aspects. And for students and teachers to learn more and to learn and apply to real immediate needs of the society, uh, we can't be in one shell. So we have to move across the shells. So we have several departments, several uh, centers, several facilities, and probably there should be a collective effort to uh, do something which is more useful and at the same time addressing the issue of sustainability. So in this direction, I think the initiative taken by the, the institution and, and, the, the, and the coordinators and people's efforts should be appreciated. Uh, they are trying to now bridge uh, the gap and bringing uh, uh, peoples of different disciplines into one platform. So that is possible only when you have an opportunity or a platform to do and creating this center for sustainable practices is a very good initiative and well well thought of. Uh, and in fact, I, uh, Dr. Ronsami gave a brief of how this whole concept emerged here. Uh, and I think this is a very, very good uh, initiative. So uh, I'll just give a very brief background of what we did. Uh, in the Indian Institute of Science to start such a center. During mid 70s, there was one uh, Professor Ramali Kumar Reddy. He was uh, the founder of a center called Center for Application of Science and Technology to Rural Areas. Uh, that time, the concept of sustainability and you know this uh, global warming were not there. There was one concept that time: appropriate technology. So Professor Amulya Reddy was a specialist in electrochemistry, helping defense systems to make uh, uh, some uh, equipments for fighting. And that what I'm doing is not right. Let me do something more close to the society where it will be more useful. Then he realized that the Indian uh, village ecosystem is not uh, uh, is suffering from uh, uh, technologies which the best brains in the country are not focusing to devise technologies to help them to, to come out of their uh, routine problems. So he started that center and actually uh, I joined a little later in uh, late 70s. And he used to give me give a tremendous amount of uh, uh, encouragement and try to bring people to work on problems socially re relevant to the society. Two or three principles he highlighted then. One is whatever technology you develop, either for, for a village or for an urban population, keep in mind energy, how much you are spending to develop the technology or how much energy the technology is going to use. 
how does the technology is going to affect the environment then doing this intervention are you going away from the self reliance or you are promoting self reliance so therefore use of local materials and maximize the use of local labor manpower these are the three four principles he, he in fact gave like bible to us in fact you just now uh, dr ramsamy gave the definition of sustainable sustainability is exactly the same that person could imagine what's going to happen in next five decades so a group of people joined and then that center was flourishing uh, by making lot of research efforts and then uh, we wanted to involve more students uh, attempting to solve such problems so therefore uh, that center for application of science and technology to rural areas was renamed as center for sustainable technologies because in 2005 because by then uh, sustainability and green had become a uh, very very uh, you know need a populistic uh, uh, terminology because if you say application of science and technology to rural areas it's difficult to attract young students to work on these problems so the name was changed not uh there's a background so, so actually uh, the, this institution has a very good a uh, sort of platforms laid in other institutions like dr narayanan from arizona state university they have a very good center for uh, sustainable engineering and practices and then the many 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 in, in india now majority of the iits and iis they are trying to address this issue so it's become a big uh, kind of uh, you know uh, platforms created where you can draw people from different uh, engineering and science disciplines to come on one platform to tackle problems which are uh, very very relevant and at the same time addressing the issue of greenness as well as sustainability i am very happy uh, to be amongst you and then uh, probably very happy that this institution has taken a very big lead in creating a platform for every all of you to come and work on a very important uh, problems which we are facing now uh, and do research which is more useful to society at the same time which is which is more sustainable and green uh, so i am very happy to uh, Uh, inaugurated this uh, concept uh, platform center center for sustainable practices and i wish uh, i wish the institution and the faculty members and the students a uh, uh, very uh, good uh, uh, exciting uh, academic and uh, development um, role to play and uh, all the best thank you very much Thank you, sir. May I invite Dr. D. E. Shahadhani, Principal, Tekem College of Engineering, to offer felicitations. Honorable President of today's function, Dr. Shahala Sanmuslia, Chairman of Governing Body, TKM College of Engineering. Honorable Guest of the Day, Dr. Narayan Naitalat, and Dr. B. V. Venkat Ramaradi. Most respected Treasurer of TKM College, Dr. Jalan Jalanadhi Muslia, Dr. M. Harun, Member of TKM College, Dr. Dr. Sajid, Dr. Seema, Dr. Ramasamy, Dr. Munawar, other planet colleagues, dear student friends, the participants, ladies and gentlemen, a very honored to all. At the very outset, let me congratulate uh, the head of the department, the coordinators, and all the staff, faculty, and staff of the department for organizing this event, the National Conference for Modeling and Simulation Excellence. 
Uh, it's the sixth edition, as it is pointed out. The special, let me have a special mention of Dr. Seema K. Nair and Dr. Ramaswamy for their untiring efforts for the last many days. One thing special to this conference, as it is rightly pointed out here, is the inauguration of the Center for Sustainability. Sustainability is a rarely practiced, practiced engineering in Kerala society, as we all know. And, uh, and uh, we used to have uh, the, the inevitable uh, catastrophe due to. So even though the UN proclamation is to think globally and respond locally, be in Kerala or in India rather, uh, we used to think locally and respond more locally. So inviting many, many catastrophes and, and toward its place. It's a, it's a great initiative by the civil engineering department and the college is committed to take this forward and to make this as an interdisciplinary space for research and development as Dr. Reddy has rightly pointed out. Research culture in our college, it dates back to some, I mean, it is in infancy rather because 10 years or 12 years we have started our research. Even before, before that, uh, there was no culture of inculcating or incorporating research, embedding research into teaching. And uh, we need more support from all the stakeholders for establishing more centers of research, research labs and more research labs in various departments, and we are on that way. And uh, for the last several decades, industrial age has uh, given uh, gave way to the information age, which connects the whole world. So knowledge and information connect the society, barring the, uh, the, the, the barriers of national barriers or global, I mean, the religious barriers or discipline barriers. So in that sense, this world is, as Dr. Um, Ramaswamy has briefed, world is rapidly changing. And this rapidly changing world and, and uncertainty prevails away. We don't know what is going to happen. So the conference of this kind must provide something new to the society and some thread of knowledge must be produced, must be generated. The institutions must be generating knowledge. So this knowledge must be disseminated to the society and must be contributing something new to the well-being of the society. And I'm quite sure uh, the, the efforts, the commitment taken by the department, it would pay way to uh, these deliberations would pave way to produce some better knowledge for the betterment of the society. And, and I wish this program, this conference, all success. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Dr. Reddy. Thank you, sir. May I invite Janam Shahalasan Muslia, a respected chairman, to present the memento to our chief guest, Dr. Narayana Neetharan. May I request? May I request Janab Tiki Jalaluddin Muslia, Treasurer Tikan College Trust, to present the memento to our chief guest, Dr. B. V. Vengatrama Reddy. Thank you. May I request Dr. Munawar Fairuz, Treasurer, ICMC 2022, to propose a vote of thanks.
dignitary servant of the dais thank you is such a prayer that cannot be seen or touched it must be felt by heart i feel honored and privileged and thankful to almighty for giving me this opportunity to propose vote of thanks on this special occasion i on behalf of the department of civil engineering convey deep regards and hearty thanks to our chairman janab tk shahalasan muslia for presiding the inaugural function of icmc 2022 and also for all his support for organizing this event we would like to thank dr narayanan petala for accepting our invitation to inaugurate icmc 2022 we are eagerly waiting for dr narayan's lecture which is scheduled during the post inaugural session we would also like to thank dr b v venkatarama reddy for accepting our invitation to inaugurate the center for sustainable practices and also for agreeing to deliver a talk on sustainable development thank you sir we are indebted to janab tk jalaluddin muslia for his presence support and also for releasing the book of abstracts during this special occasion we are thankful to our principal dr t a shaul amit sir without his guidance support and encouragement this event wouldn't have been possible we would like to thank all the trust members present here for their support and guidance for organizing this conference we would like to thank our beloved head of the department dr sajid r for his constant support help and guidance that radiated a source of energy within us we are thankful to the authorities and deans faculties of all the department for their presence guidance and support we are indebted to the experts dr shubhajit sadugan dr lakshmi sushama dr vinoni krishnan who agreed to deliver a keynote lecture prior to each technical sessions of this conference let us also thank various experts who agreed to chair various technical sessions of this international conference i would also like to take this opportunity to thank my nuclear counterpart dr sima k nayar and dr ramaswami k p coordinators who joins join hands to organize this dream conference we are thankful to the press for reporting the event we would like to show our sincere gratitude to our key sponsors techip and ramco siemens and all other sp sponsors who have contributed generously to support us financially we would like to express our sincere gratitude to all former faculties staffs of this institute who showed us the way to organize such events in the past and also for make, taking their time to grace this occasion with their presence my sincere thanks to all faculty of faculty and staff of department of civil engineering and various committee members for their efforts hard work and sleepless nights to make the arrangements for the success of icmc in spite of the tight academic schedule last but not the least it would be incomplete if we miss our beloved students without their proactive involvement this would have, wouldn't have been easy for us to organize we are expecting the same involvement throughout the conference finally let us thank each and every one who contributed towards the success of icmc 2022 if time is money then today you all have spent million for us once again thank you all jai hind uh, one more thing i would like to mention here we have uh, actually exhibited posters outside for as part of this center for sustainable practices so i'm i'm requesting all the guests to have a look at the posters which is exhibited near to the badminton court thank you thank you sir
But let's rise for the national anthem. Thank you all. Let's take a tea break. After the tea break, we'll reassemble re for the keynote lecture by Dr. Narayana Neeta. Thank you. Thank you. 